this is what we are going to make today and these are ones that you can print out cut and laminate if you'd like it's super easy I use this all the time for teaching and so if you are familiar with Canva, then this might be something really easy for you. And if you are not, then I'm gonna take you through the whole thing. So Canva is free to use. There are two versions. I used the free version for the longest time, and I've recently now just switched to the pro version, which I'm really, really loving. If you end up using Canva a lot, it's so worth it. But regardless of what version you have, you're gonna be able to create this today, and you can use the steps that I teach you to make flashcards of any kind and we will do it on the sizing of normal print paper so you'll be able to just print it out and cut it out easily and use it in your class. All right, let's get started. Okay, so this is what we're going to be making today. So you're going to first need to go to canva.com. You can either log in if you already have an account or if you don't, you can sign up with Facebook or your email and then it will take you to this page. And we're gonna to wanna to create a design. So please click this blue bar, create, create a design. And you're wanting to find flyer landscape. If you don't see it, then you can type it in. Flyer landscape, we want 11 by eight and a half inches. So we will click on that. Now in Canva, when we are creating something, we have a bunch of these different elements on the left side where we can add different things in. This right here is templates that you can use. We aren't gonna use a template today. We are going to click on elements and we are gonna search for a line to make it easier to cut out our flashcards. So you can either do a dotted line or just a bold line. I'm going to click a bold line and when you click on it, it will add it to the page here. Now you see this is a gray color. I want it to be black so it's really easy to cut. So I'm gonna click this button right here and then change it to black. Now I'm going to click back on my line and I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner. I think it's a bit too thick. I just want to have a smaller size but to know where to cut. So you can make it a little bit smaller by just dragging it in or out bigger or smaller. And then I'm going to pull it over. And once I have it so it goes across the entire page, I need to make sure it's center. So you know it's center when you see the bold pink line. Now I want a line going diagonal, so I'm going to click duplicate on this line so that it adds another one. And I'm going to click this turn button and I'm going to shift it up by making my mouse go up and then I'll let go when it hits 90 degrees. Now I need this one to be center as well so I will wait till I see the bold pink line and then I know that everything is centered and I have four equal parts for my four flashcards. Okay next we're going to need to add in the words for our flashcards so you're going to go over back to the left side and click text. Now I want a large text, so I'm just gonna pick this option and add a heading. Now my first word we're going to do is happy. And I think that this font is fine, but if I wanted to change the font, I could just highlight it and click here. And then I could try out some fonts. Ooh, let's see this funky one. Ooh, no, too much for my flashcards. So I'm gonna go back to the open sands. And I'd like it to be a little bit bigger, so I'm going to pull it up to make it bigger. You can also make it bigger by highlighting it and clicking the font size here as well. But I always think it's easier to just move it um, by dragging it up bigger or smaller to see what I think looks best. Once I have my word, now I'm going to want to add a picture along with it. So I am going to click back on the left hand side to elements and search the word happy. Ooh, okay, this is what comes up with happy. Let's see. Hmm. What is a good, oh, this one is free. So I'm going to use this picture. Awesome. Okay, I think that looks great. There are a bunch of other options that you have fun pictures you can use for happy. Now, I have the pro version so I can use more pictures 
But if you see just the free and not the free with the crown, then those are ones that you can use if you don't have pro. Okay, now I'm going to need to make my next flashcard. So I am going to click this word and I'll go over to the more and I'll click duplicate. Okay, and then I'm going to add my next word, which will be, I'll double click on that, sad. Okay. Then I will go back to elements and I will search sad. Ooh, mm. here I have some pictures. Let's do this one. I'll click it, drag it in, da, 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 da. make it in the center. Then I will click this word again, go to the more and click duplicate. That way I can just drag it over. It's an easier way that you don't have you don't have to uh, re-add text every time, and you know that they'll all be the same size is why I do that. Let's do our next word will be angry. I wanna drag this down to the bottom a little bit more. Oh, drag, 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 that's good, okay. Now I'll go back to elements, and I'll search angry. Hmm. I will choose, ooh, this red face is a good one, okay. Then we will more duplicate. Now if I can, I'll see how the pink lines will match up. That's how you know things are centered. And my last word, let's do tired. I can go back over in elements and search tired. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh, I like this blue face. I will do that. I will click my blue face. Hmm. Want them to be a little bit bigger. All right, and there we have it. I have four lovely flashcards that I can use. If you want more, what you can do is just click copy page and that will add another page and then you can create more. Let's say the next word you have is lazy or excited, okay? Then you can just copy it here again and make another page. So once you have your page, then you're going to click this button here and click download. And I always download it in the PNG version. I think that it is the best quality and I'll click download. And then you can go into your downloads and then you can just print it out and it will print out on the regular printer paper sizing, and then you can cut them out and laminate them and you are good to go. So now I have my finished product. I laminated mine and because I have the lines, I am just going to now cut them out. So here I have my final products for awesome flashcards that I can use in the classroom. I hope that this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a comment below or you can always email me at itsteacherdanielle at gmail.com. All right, everybody. See you next time.